Okay, folks, welcome to the Rush Family Range. Today, it is all about buckshot and wads. Yeah, a lot of wads. Y'all stand by. Well, folks, we got to start with the TPS cushion wad. And uh, just like my buddy Roger Adkins knows, we, uh, we ended up with those 4,000 wad cases. And we had to make these things work. And I think we got it figured out. Y'all stand by. Well, folks, we're going to actually talk about all these wads here. This isn't, this isn't an, an experimental video. This is stuff that works. Several of these wads have been field tested for years with, uh, with us, my, my crew, and the club that I am affiliated with, the Rabbit Pen Hunt Club, and especially the last couple of years. But, uh, but these wads here are not only the ones we have settled in on being some of our best performers these have been field tested. All of these wads you see right here have been field tested and have taken big game animals. Several big game animals. And we're going to start with the one we have to do the most modification to. The uh, TPS cushion wad right here. And uh, we've got to get it cut to length and get some pedals cut in it. And there's several different ways we can do that. I'm going to show y'all what works for me. Okay, well folks, the first thing we've got to do is get this TPS cushion wide that comes in a three and a half inch length. This is set up to go straight in a three and a half inch. If you're loading them in a three and a half inch, all we got to do is cut the pedals in it and load it in your three and a half inch round. Well, I don't, I don't shoot three and a half inch. I shoot three inch pretty much exclusively. And a lot of folks shoot two and three quarter inch. But first thing we got to do is get this trimmed to length. I like an inch and three eighths inside depth in the wad. That's not overall length of the wad. That's the inside depth of the wad uh, for the shot column height is an inch and three eighths. It's what I like to do. And there's all kinds of ways to do this. But y'all see this simple looking thing right here? My buddy Gary made this for me. It's got it to where the uh, inside dimension is inch and three eighths when it bottoms out. We just take the wad like this right here. I hope y'all can see that here, get the right angle. And we just twist it. And when the tool bottoms out at an inch and three eighths, look at that. Now, now we've got our wad inside is inch and three eighths let me uh i'm gonna i'm gonna take a measurement so i can give you the overall wide length and then we're going to cut some pedals in this thing digital caliper and let's see what the overall length is overall length is going to be 1.8 Let's see if I can get that turn where y'all can see that. Overall is 1.8. Let's see here. And if we're looking at the inside dimension digitally, it is uh, 1.45. And and for you guys that have to do the uh, metric, inside is going to be 36.84 millimeters depth. 36.84 millimeter depth in the wide. Now, like I said, we got multiple options. I've used the snips. I've used Medic's shears. 
uh, to cut the pedals on this thing, but we could not get consistency. What you've got to have in order to make these things work right is consistency. I've, uh, I've been doing what I call a deep cut or a full cut or a half cut in these wads. And Roger and myself like a tighter pattern. Both ways perform excellent, but if you like a more open pattern, you're going to want to do a full cut on these wads. The half cut holds it a good bit tighter. I think all of them that I shot at the range were half cut here uh, on the range segment that's coming up here shortly. But the simplest way to do these things, and then I'm going to show you some uh, other some stuff that Gary made me to cut the uh, cut the wide pedals as well. It's because of him that I can uh, see here. We got the uh, got the tool with the four blades on it for a half cut, and also got the tool made for a full cut all the way to the bottom. Now I guarantee you, he ain't got as much money in this. This guide tool right here is expensive. It works great, but it is expensive. All right, now now that we got all our possibilities laid out here for uh, how we can do this thing, let's just take and set the shears and the scissors and all that to the side. That's not going to give you any consistency at all. You're going to have to have a tool to get consistency, okay? Now, the guide tool is designed to go in your drill press. You can set your depth and all that. I don't use the drill press. I just hold it in my hand, set it down here like this right here. See that? When it stops, it is a full cut. Four pedals cut, just like that. Okay, now, that is about a three-quarter cut. That's kind of the best of both worlds right there. All right, so if I only had uh, one way to cut it, this would be it right here. This would be like what you'd almost consider a three-quarter cut works excellent okay let me uh let's grab another one let's take our trim tool that gary so kindly made for me he's a retired firefighter great guy he's a tanker he's good at this stuff all right let's trim this one back Just like that and usually that's what happens it rolls up onto the tool right there you can cut several I cut a bunch at a time whenever I cut them and they're perfect that's what we're after the consistency they're perfect every time all of them are the same now I take the uh, the half cut tool that Gary made for me see how hard that was and see we've got we got a half cut. After, uh, here's a couple right down from the range here the other day of the half cut. How they opened up in great shape. And that is some great performers. Guys, I wish I could go into a lot more detail here on YouTube, but I can't. Um, the, uh, all of the unedited with all the details and all that will be over at the patron page but for those that have to watch it here on YouTube and we really appreciate it and we really appreciate our YouTube family we really do uh, one other point for my youtubers I have heard from a lot of subscribers that YouTube has unsubscribed them from my channel it's happening they, uh, they just get unsubscribed and have to go back. Several of them have had to do it several times. Or the, uh, whenever you click on the subscribe, be sure and ring the bell and tell them that you want to receive all notifications so that whenever I upload a video, you will get notified to your device, whatever you have, that we have uploaded a new video. All right, let's head on down to the range.
All righty, folks, we continue to be at 45 yards. Eleven ninety four, pretty dang respectable. All righty, that is pure happiness right there. This is the kind of performance that me, Mr. Roger Adkins, been doing a lot of research with these TPS cushion wads and cutting them the same every time. Consistency is what it takes with the cut on the wide cutting the uh, pedals and all that is what it takes to get this kind of consistency at the range and we've been getting it buddy let's see what we got here there's wow that looks like three one two three right there wow well let's see what we got we got two up here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen no it's just two seventeen eighteen all 18, and we got 16 31 caliber single alt in a 16 inch circle right there at 45 yards. And that's the TPS cushion wide. We're going to be shooting the same type size pellets, and so number ones and 31 cal are real close, uh, folks. They're real close. And uh, we've got the several other wides, so let's get them shot. Exact same data, 27 and a half long shot. The custom cut TPS cushion wide, only we got 18 number ones, 30 cal, full grown number ones in this one here. Beautiful roll crimp. You see they stack in here by threes. That's the cool thing about the TPS cushion wide. Seventy-one. That's to be expected. It's a little bit lighter load, just a little bit lighter. You see, since the thirty-one and thirty caliber are so close in size that uh, the pattern is almost identical. You see, once again, folks, what it looks like: we got two flyers. Remember, with the other two right here, you see the stickers. We had two flyers, and then the other sixteen. Look to be right here. Let's see if let's see if that's what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Once again, well, if we include this one in a 21-inch circle, we got 17 number ones, 30 cal number ones in a 21-inch circle with one flyer. But look at this right here. Right here, see, size of a big animal's heart. Right here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven 30 caliber number ones. Look at that. Ten that I'm covering with my hand right here at 45 yards. A TPS cushion wads, boys, if you can get that 4,000 watt case like I did, I'd get them. Yeah. Okay, exact same two shots coming up again, only. Like, wait, I don't have any long shot, but I do have some blue dot left. Well, both of these rounds have got 33 grains of blue dot in them. And other than that, exact same as the first two rounds. Let's see how the blue dot patterns. <laughs> Almost got that fly. <laughs> All right. Shot of move, the wind got a shot of moving right back across the target. I mean, what is, that's got to be way up there. It is. All right, let's see. We got it while it cleared. 1223. <laughs> All right. It looks like the long shot held it just a little bit tighter than the blue dot did. Uh, let's see what we got. There's two there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 
Looks like we got 16 there's of 18. A, there's another That's the only one. Double hit I see. There's another one straight down at the bottom of the paper. I think I got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yep. The other one probably went low. But still, right here in a 16, 17 inch circle, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right here in a 16, 17 inch circle. All right. Ah, there's that shot again. I have to wait for that limb to clear. All right, you ready? 1198, that's pretty dang close, 1200 foot. You got it, babe? Yep. Okay, fellas, well, you see what the usual 18 pellet scenario seems to be? Two flyers, wherever they may be, and then 16 pellets right here. Uh, let's see if that's what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We got 16 again. That's barring any double hits. I don't see any, but that uh, that don't make no. There's a double hit right there. Okay, I missed that one. Oh, and there's a double hit right there. <laughs> okay, there's our other two pellets. See, can y'all see that in the light? Double hit there and a pair hit right there. So there's all 16 right here. 17, 18. Yep. All right, folks. Next couple of shots. Brand new primed shittite. Hole from Ballistic Products. 28 and a half. A long shot. MG42. Another one of my favorites. We've got 16 pellets of 31 caliber. Polished in here with original buffer beautiful roll crimp we have a, a three and a half inch cut down this was a three and a half inch duck round i cut back to three inch so we could roll crimp it it's got a winchester primer reinstalled we've got 32 grains of blue dot a white lightning wad with the uh, 45 thousandths 20 gauge undershot card pressed in the bottom and 14 pellets of 32 caliber Single all, polished, all covered in Ballistic Products Original. All right, let's shoot these two bad boys. Boys, these are loads that I shoot. This is what I shoot in my Stoger. And I'm showing you here that I had settled in on. All of these will be in my gun belt. All of these rounds are in Captain Buster's gun belt, too. No, no. But they are. <laughs> they are. He, boy, he's whining about it. He don't like those tight patterns like that. But we're at 45 yards. We probably got all 16 of them right here. We got, uh, let's see, one, two, two in the bull, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Y'all see any double hit? Unless I didn't count them. Uh, right. Put your hand, there it is, Daddy. Down where the middle is, in the where the paper comes together. Right, right there. Oh, right there. Yeah. There it is. Okay. There it is. Yep. It was in the shadow. I couldn't see. That's right there where the paper was put together, was so I couldn't up, see it. it wind must have had it lifted yeah. when you hit it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All sixteen pellets in a twenty-four inch circle at forty-five yards. Right here we got from the bullseye right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirty-one caliber. Right nine right there, ten right there. It works. Let's shoot the white lightning. 
Yeah, this is the three inch cutback. We made a three inch load out of with the 14 pellet 32 caliber. That's dang close to a double op, boy. As a matter of fact, most of your factories call a 32 caliber a double op. They'll call a 31 caliber a double op. But I've covered that in other videos. It's got the white lightning wide in it. All right, target has got light on it right now, babe. 1068. Yeah, this is the 32 caliber, folks. It's got at least another flyer here anyway. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Barring any double hits I missed. Y'all see any? I see 13. Rachel says she sees 13, and I think that's what I got. I don't see any more double hits. Not bad out of an old, uh, you see that one there too, honey? Mm hmm Okay. Not bad out of an old wool out three and a half inch till we cut back to three inch. That's pretty darn good use out of it, ain't it? Let me see what else we got in the, uh, in the can over there. Y'all stand by. Okay, folks. Next two shots, brand new primed Federal from Ballistic Products. Yeah, I've had these a while because the other ones don't have the 16 millimeter brass. They got the 10 millimeter brass on them. About half this size or about two-thirds this size doesn't matter makes no difference whatsoever it's just cosmetic we got 28 and a half grains of long shot in both of these rounds I believe we got 16 pellets of 31 cal in both of these we do uh, one we got first shot's gonna be the white lightning uh, second shot's gonna be the, the precision RW123 both have the precision spherical buffer in them and roll crimped all right let's see how these two watts compare That just thought the wide pellet went through there and hit about three stickers is right there. <laughs> and it just collapsed them in. If, if no, that looks like we'll see, but I believe, yeah, that might be a double hit right there. That's why it pushed all those stickers in there. <laughs> yes, we're getting pretty stickered up here, folks. Holy cow! Well, let's see. My gosh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm guessing that's a double hit. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's because that's what it is. A double hit right here. Holy cow. One, well, let's just look right here over the bullseye. Right mm -hmm. here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 31 caliber. Right there. That'll still be on target down to 100 meters. Those pellets, all six or eight of those pellets will be in an animal at 100 meters. And leaving the muzzle at 1270, we'd still be at about 900 at 100 meters. We're at 45 meters right here, by almost halfway there. So that's how we take these animals consistently out at those, uh, at those ranges, big wide open clear cut. You'll take him with that. All right, I believe that was the white lightning wide. Let's shoot the RW-123. Exact same as the previous shot, folks, except this one has the precision RW-123 red, three inch wide in it. Yep, 1631 cal, powder coated. That one had a different sound to it almost. Yeah, it's got that one had more pop. Okay. Hot primer, hot federal 209A primer in these new holes. 
and the uh, and the RW123 seals a little bit tighter in there. The other one we had like 1270 something. This one 1324. So the RW123s are usually a few feet faster on the same loads. Little hind left. That's gonna be me, boys. I had, I got my bought new Caldwell sandbags and I ain't put the sand in them yet. They came empty. So, oh, I tell you what it is. It's dang hot in this sun. <laughs> gonna be mid 90s. Today's Friday. Gonna be mid 90s this weekend. Bumping a hundred all next week. <laughs> wow, looks like we got all 16 of them right there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We got 15 in a 15 inch circle right there. Impressive. And I said we, different buffers has really made no difference. Precision buffer, ballistic products original or number 47, or cornstarch. That's right, cornstarch. Shot a few of those. We didn't video it yet but it works just as good as any of the other buffers. Y'all remember that. Next two shots. Oh, look at here, fellas. Here's the 10 millimeter. New Federal. Identically the same. Okay, for you guys that's got the Pro Reach powder, here we go. Here's a brand new 10 millimeter primed from Ballistic Products. Beautiful roll crimp. Tell all these pellets are powder coated. 27 and a half pro reach, first shot, TPS cushion wide, 31 cal. We got 18 pellets, a 31 cal. Exact same data, shot number two, same hull, except we got 14 pellets of 32 caliber. All right, let's shoot these two. Yeah, too windy. Eleven fifty three. Built down on the bottom. Now this is a <laughs> this is the kind of pattern that Captain Buster goes goo goo over. <laughs> but I mean who wouldn't? Look at the look at the spread. Look right here at the bull. We got one, two, three, four, five, thirty one caliber right there. Rachel said we got all 18. Uh, I might I might be mistaken. I thought that One, was two, two there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Oh, oh my God. All eighteen are here. <laughs> I was using the Pro Reach, boys. And those ten millimeter new uh, ballistic product still has some available. It's got the double alt buckshot written on. They're kind of pricey. But one, two, three, four, five, right there. <laughs> Let's shoot the 32 cal. Exact same data as the previous shot, only 14 pellets of 32 caliber. And uh, maybe you like a much tighter pattern. So, okay. We got one, two, three flyers. If you could call within 17 inches a flyer, that one right there would. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven right here in a ten inch circle. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We got thirteen here in a seventeen inch circle. Seventeen, eighteen inch circle. That's the bad news right there, folks. 32 caliber single off and pro reach powder. 
All right, sometimes you just save the best for last. Well, say this is two and three quarter inch, new Fiocchi Prime, two and three quarter inch. The old CB 1138, one of my favorite wads. I've been loading this double A 12 red or CB 1138 goes all the way back to the beginning and they're available. That's the cool thing about them. And a lot of folks ask me, have been asking me about the two and three quarter inch. Here they are, been asking me about the Pro Reach powder. Here's some more of it right here. New primed Fiocchi. We've got um, we got 10 pellets of uh, 32 caliber in the first shot with 26 grains of Pro Reach. CB 1138 wide covered in Ballistic Products Original and a very pretty roll crimp. Shot number two has got recovered federal double alt, actual 33 caliber double alt. All stacked in here by twos, 26 Pro Reach. 10 pellets of the recovered federal double alt. And of course, we're talking about the CB 1138 wide, all covered in Ballistic Products Original. Very pretty roll crimp for shot number two. All righty, folks. The 32 caliber right here with the 10 pellet. Now, aside from the Pro Reach powder, this is the round that Josh shot in his revelation for years when he was a little fella. And this would be considered a light load, folks. This would be good for the ladies and for the young ones. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One flyer right here, nine right there, and a 15 inch circle. And like I said, that didn't feel any worse than a game load. I have loaded up to 27 in this, folks, up to 27 a pro reach in this two and three quarter inch load right here. The, uh, the federal double alt is just a hair heavier. Let's go shoot the standard double alt. You had 10 in there, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. Yep, oh, 9 and okay. 1 actually. There. All right, well, they were all there. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven thirty-three caliber federal right there. With the flyers right there. To give you some room for error. I'm going to have to break this down into two parts, folks. So this is going to be the end of part one. Really hope you all enjoy it. It's hot out here. We'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. If you would like to see the full unedited version of this video, get by our patron page. Links are down here below in the description of the video. And we would like to say a big thanks to all of those that are already patrons to this channel. Without you guys, this would not be possible. Thanks again.